the Nature Hacker, and this is your world. So today I'm going to talk about, um, well, something I promised yesterday about some news that was so shocking to me that I was angry and I didn't want to research it enough to make a video yesterday. I just didn't want to think about it. It just made me so angry. So I didn't make a video yesterday. Today I'm going to make a video. And I also want to say that on my other channel, Nature Hacker Mind, I have been making videos there every day, but I'm only going to make videos there when I'm not making a video on my main channel, Nature Hacker. So if I don't have a video on Nature Hacker, I'll have one on Nature Hacker Mind. And I will try to do that every day. So check it out. It's a podcast. It's about 30 minutes long, just relaxing and stuff. So anyway, um, yeah, so the thing that I'm going to talk about today is Roundup glyphosate and like many people you're probably like, oh yeah well, I've already heard about it you know it's on GMO foods I don't eat GMOs so um, I should be fine but um, that's what I thought but I came across some very very disturbing information and this information is like horror story you know it's like you cannot believe that they actually do this it's absolutely mind-boggling okay so um, I'm just gonna jump into it what they do well here let me just tell you first what I eat I eat old-fashioned oats and refried beans okay that's practically all I eat and I thought I was safe because oats are not GMO and beans are not GMO so I thought I was okay but it turns out that not only they don't just spray glyphosate on GMOs you know cuz I mean glyphosate kills plants it kills all plants so the only plants that can survive it are GMOs so I thought that I was safe eating non genetically modified foods but I was very very wrong and what I'm going to tell you right now should utterly shock you if you still have any humanity that hasn't been lost to the American dream and that is they when they go to harvest plants they coat the plants with glyphosate whether or not they're GMO they utterly submerge basically these plants in glyphosate roundup now the reasoning for that is that they want all of the plants to die at the same time so for harvesting it's like a uniform product you know so for example hay i don't know this is this has got to be a conspiracy there's no there is no real reason to do this okay hay is usually gotten by you have these tall grasses you go and you cut them and you let them dry and then you bale them okay right that's how hay is made but for some reason they thought hmm what if we load up a crop duster full of Roundup and we spray it on all of the hay so it all dies. It's like, all right, why, um, why didn't you just cut it so it dies? Why do you have to sp coat it in glyphosate? So they, the wise guys that they are, coat the hay in glyphosate. The glyphosate levels on the hay are sky freaking high and they feed this to the animals. I can't believe any animals are still alive. Now, they don't only just do it to animal food. They do it to people food. Crops like peas, dried peas, crops like dried beans, crops like dried oats, crops like wheat, crops like barley. All of these grains, they do exactly the same thing. They mega spray them with Roundup to kill them so that basically these grains and beans will dry on the plant, the dead as a doornail plant, okay? They kill the plants dead and they let the beans and whatever dry while the plant is just dead, okay? So that is the shocking revelation. It's just it's just utterly horrifying that they that all that a ton of our food 
the majority of our foods, I mean, the majority of Americans eat wheat more than anything else. The majority of our food, and in my case, I don't even eat wheat, but I eat oats and I eat beans, and those are utterly destroyed by Roundup as well. and They're just coated in it. So, obviously, the first thing I was thinking, okay, I don't want to have to buy organic beans. I buy these giant sacks of beans. How am I going to survive, you know? Like, I don't have the money to just buy little packets of organic beans, you know. So I was like, well, why don't I just add something while I'm cooking it, like activated charcoal or, um, you know, nitrates or something, something to destroy the glyphosate. It doesn't really work, ladies and gentlemen. They put, like, the same amount of activated charcoal as Roundup, and it just it only got, like, 50% of it. So, I mean, yeah, it could work. It could help a little bit, but... It's not enough to reduce it to the right level. So, I mean, literally, I never really give up, but I've, pro I've practically given up trying to remove glyphosate from foods. I mean, we basically just have to get foods that are not coated in glyphosate. And the only uh, ways to do that are um, basically organic. And um, I'm going to tell you the, the bad, the worst foods to avoid and the other foods might be uh, decent. Um, uh, just, uh, it's just horrible. All right, so I'm going to list off all of the worst offenders, and I'll say if it's bad, if it's like extra bad, and then if it's ultra bad. There's only a couple ultra bads. Let me just tell you what the ultra bads are first. The ultra bad is peppermint and spearmint. Ultra bad. Do not get peppermint or spearmint unless it's organic. Okay, organic is okay. You know, organic will have traces, but it will not be doused in Roundup like these crops. So, um, if it's on this list, and I'm going to tell you, get it organic or avoid it altogether. So, ultra bad is spearmint and peppermint. Absolutely stay away, like miles away from that. Alright, as far as extra bad, Oil seeds, so vegetable oil, canola oil, cotton seed oil, blah, 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 all of that. All of those types of oil. I don't know. It didn't say olive. Olives aren't really seeds or fruits. So olive was not on this list. But try to get organic olive anyway. Um, extra bad is cotton seed oil, which is just like those other ones. Almond hulls, so, you know, the hull of the almond, so the almonds inside hopefully aren't too bad. Um, what else here? Extra bad, like, all grains, wheat, barley, oats, uh, all grains, quinoa, all grains. Um... Molasses is extra bad. Um, what else here? Beet sugar. So, you know, like regular white sugar that doesn't say cane sugar. That is extra bad. And canola is extra bad. Canola oil, canola seed, whatever. All right, now I'm going to go through the bad ones, all right? These are not as bad as the extra and ultra bad I talked about, but these are ones that you should avoid or get organic forms. Barley bran, betel nut, carrot. Carrot, you need to get organic carrots. Chaya, citrus pulp, green coffee beans. So I'm guessing brown coffee beans probably too. Um... Dry peas, just like, you know, the beans and lentils and all that, bad as well. Oregano, so get organic oregano. Uh, corn, so popcorn is okay, but any other corn is not. Dokudami, epizote, which is like a Mexican herb. It's an anti-parasitic herb, but um, make sure it's organic. Um, all all green, um, hops. So I use hops in one of my products, so I'm in the process of contacting the manufacturer to see if they use Roundup on their hops. Um, pine nuts, okay, get organic pine nuts. Tree nuts, any and all nuts are not good. Get organic or avoid them. 
perilla, pistachio, quinoa, like I said, shellfish, all shellfish. Okay. That includes like shrimp, crab, lobster, um, mollusks, uh, clams, all types of shellfish. Um, and not, not to mention mercury. There's a lot of mercury in those too. <coughs> Stevia. Stevia has glyphosate. Make sure you get organic if you use that. I don't really, uh, I don't support using Stevia. Cane sugar, get organic or avoid it. Sweet potato, get organic or avoid it. Tea, get organic or avoid it. All legumes, beans, lentils, peas, all of that. And that's it. So, but that is a lot of important foods, right? So, um, I'm going to leave links to these uh, websites and stuff so you can do more research. You can look at a complete list and what the allowable amounts of glyphosate is in all these types of food. But the take-home story is get organic. Um, as far as protein is concerned, I'm switching off of beans. I don't think they have or I could afford organic beans so instead I'm doing organic eggs and eggs don't even have to be organic I'm getting the organic um, because I'm concerned about um, I'm just concerned about them eating it in their grains you know I don't want them to be eating even though it doesn't show up in the eggs eggs have one of the lowest amounts of glyphosate in anything so um, any any you could just get regular random eggs if you if you were using beans as your protein source and you can't afford protein, just get 99 cent eggs. They have like no glyphosate in them, but they may have antibiotics and other stuff. So get all natural eggs if possible or organic is best. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to switch to rice since rice is not on this list. Rice is actually okay. I went to organic rice anyway, but I'm getting rid of the oats, replacing it with organic brown rice. Okay, it's only $2 a pound. It's not that bad. And for my protein, I'm doing eggs. So that's my carb, my protein. For oil, I'm doing olive. Um, thank goodness my mom gets organic olive oil for me um, once in a while. So... Uh, using that so that's that's pretty much it and then as far as kale i'll get it from my backyard and have some growing and um you know i get uh grapefruits back there so um yeah but i did want to talk a little bit about what glyphosate does uh it's an organophosphate so i think i've talked about organophosphates in other videos yeah parathion i talked about parathion which is also an organophosphate in one of my other videos so check that out, but basically the moral of the story is tryptophan. So tryptophan will help, um, you know, so foods high in tryptophan. And then you need oxidation, so you need to have enough iron, you need to have enough manganese, you need to have enough nitrate, so like leafy green vegetables or something like potassium nitrate. Uh, sulfate, my product Stable has sulfate and nitrate and other goodies, so... Um, that would be good to do. I'll put that in the description below as well. And then my um, Nectar of Gaia has iron in it, so that will help uh, get rid of this stuff from your body. And um, and uh, what else? Oh, and another thing is um, Detura. And one other thing... I can't remember the name of it, but um, basically mostly detour. Those are also though helpful to counter organophosphate poisoning. So um, another thing is that it that glyphosate suppresses CYP450, which is an oxidative enzyme. So uh, iron nitrate will help with that. Sulfate. So that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. Um, check out the description. Do some more research on your own. I am the nature hacker. Do work.